Welcome back to Deaton Street. I'm Dustin and he's Zach. Today, we're going to talk about Copilot Plus Recall and how it is a privacy nightmare. But before we get into that, if you could just go down below the video, like it, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, let us know what you think about what we're about to regurgitate about all this information. Uh, so, Zach, what is recall? So I first off want to thank you for doing all the prep for this. So I'm going to read off some of your prep here. Uh, So recall is an AI feature in the new newly announced Copilot plus PCs that is able to take screenshots. I think it's every two seconds of your screen. And then the AI features are actually able to recall what you were working on. So it saves up to three months of data of screenshots. So every two seconds, three months of that, it takes up 50 gigabytes of memory uh, storage Oof. in your computer. Yeah. Uh, and so the idea here is, let's say you're working on a document uh, a few months ago, and then it comes back up and you don't know where you saved it, or maybe you, I guess you didn't save it properly and you want to recall that document. You can go into Copilot, ask Copilot to go ahead and look through the recall feature and pull that document back up for you. So for that use, sounds really, really cool. Um, I'm a privacy analyst in my day job. You are a uh, kind of tech wizard, tech guy, uh, part of which <laughs> you you work with some cybersecurity stuff. Yeah, so yeah. when we saw this, we were instantly freaked out and worried about the implications that this technology, if it gets into the wrong hands, could pose mm-hmm. a serious privacy threat. So. What do you think about this? What were your first reactions to this being announced? So uh, the first thing I thought of was like, oh, great. Another way that a big tech company can just harvest my data. Uh, and, and I started to dig on the actual like Microsoft uh, page, the support page for all the, the recall stuff. And it looked like they had a bunch of stuff in place to combat that theory or that that worry mm-hmm. uh, for people so different things they have like you can filter like websites that you don't want it to take snapshots of it won't save private browsing uh it and, th- and this is one of the things that they had on there and it looked like it was in the group of the good things but it's not uh it will not hide information such as passwords and financials right So it's going to take full snapshots of that and not hide that. Fishy, weird. It is all locally stored, uh, but and that was straight from Microsoft's uh, site. But you had another site. I don't know what you had open. It said it could possibly be saved to a cloud or something. Yeah, and then later on in the article, it said that everything was saved locally. So I I don't know if it's one of the things where... Unconfirmed for us. Unconfirmed, maybe you can choose to throw some stuff in the cloud if you want to um, change those settings. Yeah, It's just, it's, it's unsettling to have uh, all of that stuff stored. Uh, Sure, it would be awesome to be able to go into the search bar and then type up a document, like search something, and then it just pull it from whenever. Uh, Cause I know right now that's kind of a headache to do, especially if you don't have things organized, mm-hmm. like m- very meticulously, like mm-hmm. I like to, uh, cause I just don't want to have that headache uh, to begin with. But I, I it's just it's it's too it's too much it's it's too invasive for me yeah and so this isn't a feature like it's supposed to be I'll be all on the device which means that if you yeah. were to let's say if a hacker was to get access to it there are a few ways that they would have to do it physically mm-hmm. getting physical control of the device getting physical control of the password to enter into the user account in which case at that point it's it's pretty much free reign yeah. um the other way that is more concerning is you can remote into someone's laptop or you know computer Macs can do this PCs can mm-hmm. do this it's very normal um, but that's a way that a lot of hackers and scammers will get access to the computers of our less computer literate folks right so mm-hmm. some older folks not all old, older folks but some older folks and just some you know computer unaware folks or privacy unaware folks. This would be 
a hacker's dream. The ability oh, to yeah. remote into a PC, get access to three months, not of browsing data, of just computer data. So if you have a tab where you're keeping all of your passwords, you're backing up all the passwords to all your accounts, man, it'd be great to have a quick snapshot of that so that yep. I, you know a, a hacker could all in one have access to all of your stuff. Now, I'd say don't do that. Don't put all your passwords in one place, but I have friends well, and family that do that. Honestly, so what we do at work for our cybersecurity stuff, we have, so like normally you could go on like Google and like save your passwords, mm -hmm. right? Uh, we don't typically encourage doing that because it can be easily accessed. So we use a more encrypted third-party software that is like an extension on your browser, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and it uses a lengthy password that you create, all this other stuff. That being said, the web page that you have all your passwords on that you get to, uh, if you don't uncheck that in the filtered websites, yeah. that's viewable. Yeah. That's there. And, and one of the things that Microsoft said is that you can turn this feature off. Yeah. Right. You can turn this feature off, but how many times, you know, I'll throw, you know, my grandparents under the bus. How many times have they called <laughs> me asking me to turn off just yep. a, a phone notification? Like it, yep. it's, it's not that easy. And those are the folks that are most susceptible to these type of attacks. Yep. I mean, I, I wish I should have pulled up data to how, how much money each year is taken away oh. from folks that get scammed out of you know just you, you see it online there's really good youtube I've, channels i've witnessed it per, per uh, personally yeah uh, my grandma calls me and it's it's a it's a it's a sad story we you know poked fun at it later but she ended up paying like 200 bucks right. to these random people that got onto her computer and then loaded it down and then wanted her to take a money order. Mm -hmm. The good thing, the good people at where she was going to get the money order at told her, it was like, Oh ma'am, this is a lot. That sounds like a scam. You shouldn't do this. Mm -hmm. So then I had to go and clean it up after, but I mean, I've seen it, you know, it happens and it happens way more often than you think. And okay. So beyond just the hacking part of it, cause I think we've made our point there. Oh yeah. If, if I were to get a, a PC, I'm a Mac user. If I were to get a PC, the first thing I'd be doing is turning this off. Yeah. Um, just, just the, the physical access on its own. Like if someone gets into your computer, if you're at a coffee shop and you forget to, close off your password while you, you know, or mm -hmm. close the, the book while you, while you go use the restroom and then someone can physically go on there and recall what you've been doing for the past three months. And then who's going to take the time to sit there and say, I want this website off that website off that website. Yeah. That's a lot of work just to protect your, your privacy from yep. that, that type of data. But so let, let's go beyond that. Let's talk about workplace privacy. Mm. Most folks are at work, they're using a company provided laptop. Yep. Those laptops are rightfully so periodically reviewed, right? Like you should never expect that you're privately using a work computer. But the implications of an employer being able to go through and see two second snapshots of what you've done for the past three months is insane to me. Yep. And this is not going to be, I mean, most uh, work computers are locked down as, you know, IT is going to be your admin. So you probably won't even be able to turn this off. So it's just another level of lack of privacy in the workplace from your employer, yeah. which it, it, I, maybe some employers would say you shouldn't, you shouldn't have that lack of privacy, right? Uh, but even so, it's just, no one likes to be feeling like they're being watched all the time. And so oh, this is another worst. one of those, so. It's the worst. Uh, I, I, yeah, I agree. I, I don't like the feeling of being watched while I'm work while I'm working and everything. I want to be trusted that I am. I want to be trusted by my employers, right? That yeah, I'm going to get the job done. I'm going to do what I need to do, uh, and you shouldn't have to watch me like a hawk. I do. I do slightly understand. Uh, every workplace has that one problem person that really doesn't do much. So I see where it would be appealing for the employer to have that capability to see, oh, well, Joe over there hasn't been doing anything on his computer, but he should have been doing this, this, and this. Hey, we're going to go have a meeting. Mm 
Mm-hmm. I get that, but that's it's just it's it's a lot. Is that good for productivity though? Like, is no, that, is I that don't good think for, it is. Like, I don't ha- think it is having to explain to your employer why you didn't move your keyboard when you were in a meeting with someone and like, ha- it's yep. just, it's just stuff like that. It's like, I don't actually think that it, it helps productivity. No. I don't know. Overall, the privacy concerns plus that I just, who wants this or needs this? Is this the best way to implement a way to go back and find your old documents? Mm-hmm. This is the best that Microsoft could come up with. To me, I think they should just improve the search bar. That's about it. You know, they do file explorer. That's it. I think uh, so too. You know. So uh, long story short, I'll give you a little bit of uh, just perf- uh, privacy advice. Yeah. Turn it off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just turn yeah. it off. If, if you get if you get one of these, turn it off and, uh, until it's just absolutely confirmed to be safe. Because yeah. I, I, again, if I was a hacker, I'd be licking my lips at this. Mm-hmm. And be chopping at the bit to try and get all the information and sell it on the black market. Uh, well, final yeah. thoughts about recall? Uh, yeah, I'm with you. Uh, turn it off. Uh, you know, uh, it, it'll save your IT guy a lot of headache as well. Uh, thank you. Thank you for turning it off in the future. All right. Well, let yeah. us know what you think in the comments. Um, is this is the privacy concerns that we have? Are they overblown? Are they right on track? Uh, yeah, let us know. And just a little bonus things. We have been reading the comments. I did clean my mic. So <laughs> appreciate those. To the one guy who two, noticed two people, it. Two people. Two people. Two people yeah, have yeah, noticed yeah. it. The one person I, I like, I was like, eh. The second person, I was like, okay. He eh. said, oh, it's a problem. Okay. Yeah, okay. I'll clean it off. I'm sorry. That's, That's so funny. Yeah. We'll see you next week. See ya. Peace.